Watch where you step. Let's let's do this delicately as best yeah. we can. This is a beautiful thing. So we've got milkweed, which if you follow the, the environmental news, you know that monarch butterflies are in peril on a worldwide basis. And of course they love milkweed. How far are we from my cottage? Maybe I'm thinking we, we must've been four or five minutes to get here, yeah. right? No yeah. big deal. This milkweed is profuse here. Look, there's a caterpillar right there. So the monarch butterflies, I see them here. Classic image of them feeding, getting the nectar. And there's the caterpillars living off the milkweed. This is fantastic. I love this. There's a lot of it. It's profuse here so that we can gather from it, but we're still going to gather very selectively. So I'm not going to be able to give you a big bowl full, but it'll be enough that we can make a meal. Okay. Here's what we're looking for. This guy's a great example over here. These tiny little buds here that have not opened up into flowers yet. We're going to gather these. The second part of this plant, I don't know, what's that taste like? <laughs> Actually, I was trying to control my enthusiasm. It's delicious. Good, it, good. This is actually more what I'm talking about in terms of the stage that we're looking for. So for the flower buds, you see how they're a little bit tighter, younger, right? And as far as harvesting properly, you know, take one, leave one. And it's, let's just stick with that for now. Take one, leave one. But also, while you're at it, go ahead and take these tender young top leaves. Nice, the smaller, nice tender ones. Are, once, once they get this big, then forget it. One of the things I like to do for Paul is bring him back a surprise each time so that he's not thinking all day, how am I going to prepare this item or that ingredient? I want to sort of spring it on him. And in this case, I come right back to the milkweed plant and uh, I'm actually going to take him, again, through a pruning method, the flowers themselves. Now, I know that these flowers are also edible and often in the form of a fritter. So I'm gonna bring back a bunch of these. The key thing here about this particular plant itself is that it's an incredibly special plant. Uh, most people are aware this is the plant that the monarch butterfly needs to survive. The, the larva, the caterpillar, this is the only plant that they actually exist on as they're growing. And in fact, yeah, yeah. In fact I can see little, little tiny eggs deposited by the monarch butterfly right there. The butterflies here in this field will migrate all the way down to Florida. And here's the thing, that's not one butterfly that goes down to Florida and comes back again. It's generations to get down to Florida and then come back again. So how do the ones that are born down in Florida know to come back to this field? Because they will actually come back not only to Ontario, Canada, but right to this field, which is incredibly powerful. That's why these small stands of milkweed and around railroad tracks and on the edges of gravel pits and sides of dirt roads are vital and important because the butterflies that go down to Florida know that they want to come right back to that very field. I guess, I suppose, potentially even that very plant.